Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, we're going to review a brand new UST screen from Akia Screens. This is the 115 inch CLR4 Akia Screen UST projector screen. Stick around. On today's review in the Danjin, we're going over the Akia Edge Free CLR4 Series Fixed Frame Projector Screen. The edge free design resembles a flat panel TV display. It includes a micro thin bezel, an all aluminum frame, hardware, and instruction manuals. The screen material included in the CLR4 uses an optical lens front projection material precisely formulated for environments with minimal control over room lighting. It was designed to filter and absorb overhead light while directing tabletop mounted ultra short throw projection. It's best for family rooms, educational facilities, conference rooms, or any applications in which incident light is a factor. Setting up the CLR4 screen is fairly straightforward. In the box, you'll find your screen material, your vertical frames, your horizontal frame pieces, your bezel, springs, and other necessities needed for installation. It even includes a pair of white gloves to protect the screen material from smudging or any other damage. The Akia Screens CLR4 uses a sawtooth design like this image below. This design blocks out overhead ambient light and allows light from ultra short throw projectors to be broadcast to the viewer with outstanding quality even when you cannot control the light in your room. The CLR4 edge free design comes in two sizes, 115 inch which I'll set up today and 123 inch. The material does have the ability to scratch, so please make sure you take care when assembling. It is ISF certified. It has an on-axis gain of 0.8, a black level improvement of 90%, and a viewing angle of 170 degrees. Akia provides a stock and warranty in the US for two years. The instructions even include wall installation directions. It'll tell you where to drill the holes on your wall and how to measure left, right, up and down to make sure your Akia CLR4 screen is hung in the correct position. It is always important to set up the projector itself first. Get the image on the wall, measure it to size, in my case, the 115 inch size for the CLR screen, and then place the screen over that image to make sure the both left and the right side line up correctly. Once the screen is hung, turn the projector on again and use the features to keystone or correct the image size to make sure that your screen maximizes the surface area for the image. Remember to follow Akia's requirements when mounting the screen on the wall. There is only one direction the screen should face. CLR4 or ceiling ambient light rejecting material absorbs up to 90% of overhead lighting. The ISF certification allows for accurate color points, color temperature, and dynamic range. It improves color saturation and black levels under ambient light conditions. 
the microceriform optical structure filters out ceiling light for superior picture quality. With the lights off, the Akia CLR4 provides an even bigger boost in image quality. Compared to other projection screen materials, such as your matte white material, the CLR4 material provides 85 times the contrast improvement over standard matte white. It even has viewing angle improvement, allowing viewers to spread out while maintaining brightness and uniformity. So you can sit on either side of the screen and have a clear view of the picture. The CLR4 series edge-free fixed frame ambient light rejecting screens start at a price of $1,049 for the 115 inch and $1,149 for the 123 inch. So in conclusion, what are my thoughts on the CLR4 performance and assembly? Well, first off, the picture quality has been fantastic. I do a lot of gaming and I watch a lot of sports and this CLR4 screen does not disappoint. When using the Vava Chroma USD projector that I had demoed in this video, I really enjoyed the fact that the CLR4 screen relays such a brilliant image even when the room has uncontrolled ambient light from the windows or other lights close by. When I watch movies at night with my wife, the screen is even more impressive. HDR content really pops, black levels are deep and rich, and the reflections from the ceiling or the sidewalls are really minimal, giving it a true movie theater quality picture. Assembly was not bad at all. It is definitely time consuming, and for those who haven't assembled a screen before, uh, it might take a little bit longer. But the material is really nice, the hardware is easy to identify, and the directions are easy to follow. All in all, it took me about an hour to assemble the screen myself, and then another hour and 30 minutes to mount and hang it on the wall in the exact position needed. I definitely recommend a second person to assist with hanging the CLR4 screen, but assembly can be done by just one person if you take your time and follow the directions. All in all, this is a great projector screen at a great price and I definitely think you guys should give it a try. Hey guys, thanks again for taking the time to join me here on the channel. Like always, make sure you ask any questions you might have about this great UST projector screen in the comments section below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to The Dangin. I have new content coming out as soon as I possibly can. And I really enjoy everybody who has participated with me in this channel. Thanks again for joining me here at the Dangin, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Oh,